Hola amigos, today you will learn how to ask politely or how to make polite requests in Spanish. Bienvenidos a Spanish Lessons for Me. Me llamo Ángela. Hoy te voy a compartir cómo pedir diferentes cosas en español. Antes de seguir te pido que le des un me gusta a este video y te suscribas al canal. Muchas gracias. Recuerda repetir las frases en voz alta. Empecemos. La primera frase que vamos a aprender es esta. Disculpe, ¿me podría decir? Repite. Disculpe, ¿me podría decir? Notice that podría is in the conditional. In Spanish, you use the conditional to make polite requests. So instead of saying, disculpe, ¿me puedes? We're saying, disculpe, me podría. So we're not using the present tense, we're using the conditional. What follows that is an infinitive. An infinitive is a verb that is not conjugated. You might have heard people saying, disculpe, me puede decir o me puedes decir. And it is correct to say it. However, when you use podría, it sounds a little more polite. It sounds like a softer request. Disculpe. Me podría decir, normally, that will be followed by a question word. For example, ¿Dónde? ¿Cómo? ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuánto? ¿Quién? Vamos a ver algunos ejemplos. Disculpe, ¿me podría decir dónde queda el banco? Disculpe, ¿me podría decir cómo llegar a la playa? Disculpe, ¿me podría decir cuándo es el concierto? Disculpe, ¿me podría decir cuánto cuesta el boleto? Disculpe, ¿me podría decir quién está a cargo? Next, let's take a look at two phrases that you probably would use at a restaurant or at a store when you're asking for things. Perhaps at a restaurant where you are requesting for things to be brought to you. The first one is me gustaría. You would use it if you're asking for something that is singular. Or you would say me gustarían if you're requesting something plural. Don't forget to follow it with por favor. The next one is quisiera. And then also follow it with por favor. Vamos a repetir. Me gustaría. Quisiera. Vamos a ver ejemplos. Ejemplo en singular. Me gustaría la falda amarilla, por favor. Un ejemplo en plural. Me gustarían los pastelitos, por favor. Y un ejemplo con quisiera. Quisiera dos, por favor. Remember these two are good to use at a restaurant or if you're at a store and you're asking for a certain thing. These next two are a way to make a polite request when something that you're requesting might bother somebody. The verb that follows molestaría or importaría is in the infinitive. Now I highlighted te or le or les and that is would it be a bother to you? If you're talking to a friend, you would say, te molestaría o te importaría. If you're talking to your neighbor that you hardly know, then in that case, you would use le molestaría or le importaría. Let's say that you're talking to two people. In that case, you would say, les molestaría or les importaría. Let's see some examples. Le molestaría mover su auto? Notice that mover is in the infinitive. I did not conjugate it. Le molestaría mover su auto. And this one is formal. That's why I'm using le. El siguiente. Next. ¿Te importaría bajar el volumen? This one is informal because I'm using te. This one would say, would it be a bother to you to lower the volume? El siguiente, next. ¿Les importaría caminar al mercado? 
would you mind walking to the market? And we know we're talking to more than one person because we're using less. You could also say less molestaría. Either one works. So let's repeat one more time before we move on. Le molestaría. Te importaría. Les importaría. This one is another way of making a request. And all you need to do is conjugate the verb in the present tense for tú or usted. And if you're requesting that something be done to you or for you, then you would start the sentence with me. ¿Me das un café, por favor? The literal translation would be, do you give me a coffee? But it means, would you bring me a coffee? What makes this type of sentence a polite request is, number one, it's said in the form of a question. Number two, it is followed by por favor. Those two elements are super important because otherwise it's going to sound like an order. So let's say that again. ¿Me das un café, por favor? Next example is using the verb traer. ¿Me traes unas servilletas, por favor? Notice that the first one, me das, and the second one, me traes, I conjugated them in the to form. So therefore, these two are informal. These next two, I conjugated the verbs for usted. That makes them a formal request. ¿Me vende dos camisas, por favor? ¿Me lleva al centro, por favor? So, to wrap it up, another way of making a request is to conjugate the verb in the present tense for tú or usted and make sure that if you use this form, you make it into a question and you add por favor. This one is a good one to know as well. So you can use it before asking someone to do something for you. The way you pronounce it is like this. ¿Me echas una mano? We're linking these two words. ¿Me echas una mano? Vamos a ver un ejemplo. ¿Me echas una mano? ¿Me ayudas a mudarme? So I used it before making the actual request. And after somebody has helped us, how do we say thank you? Some of these you already know. Gracias, mil gracias, muchas gracias. A more formal way, se lo agradezco. Or if you're talking to somebody that you know, Te lo agradezco. And the last one, de verdad, aprecio su ayuda, formal. De verdad, aprecio tu ayuda, informal. More informal ways, muchas gracias, hermano. Or if you're in Mexico, you would say, muchas gracias, mano. You could also tack on the word amigo o amiga at the end. Mil gracias, amiga. And lastly, gracias, de verdad. All right, I hope that you learned something. If you did, please go ahead and give me a like. And if you haven't yet, subscribe. Que tengas un lindo día. Nos vemos en el próximo video. Adiós.